All right. I'm gonna play some Undungeon. I very briefly started the game, played for a few minutes, and yeah. Oh no, I need to fix the uh, borders on the screen. There we go. Strange, isn't it? From childhood, we have been told that the universe is endless. It was said that there are millions of worlds out there, and that none of them can be reached. They said that they were thousands of light years away from us. But, what? what if this is not the whole truth? But, what if we live in a multiverse what? where a thin membrane separates worlds from each other and this membrane is not as strong as it seems seven worlds seven variations of earth were instantly merged those few who survived call did i just skip something I looked away and wasn't paying attention. Oh, poop. changed itself. Okay, there we go. Hold F to be born. So last time I played I didn't actually explore anything. I just kind of started the game and went, oh look, a dead guy. Space is dark and silent. A voice resounds in your head, breaking the silence. Each word like a supersonic cannon shot. I made you. I created you. Okay, what are you? I am nothingness, just like you. They call us the Void. You and I are one, but you have a purpose. You can leave this place and meet with them. The envoys from the other dimensions in the center of creation. I made you from parts. From anything that reaches me from their worlds. Follow the thread, it will bring you to the root of creation, to the city of all dimensions, the city of Archibon. Collect the seals of the six heralds and bring them back here. They have many realms. We have essence. They want our essence because we have so much. Let them give us their realms so we can have many realms as well. Go and collect the seals of six dimensions. Oh, okay. I don't actually have any other questions. I've been given a brain. Can I interact again? No. Okay. Can you go this way now? Yes. watch any of these cutscenes either, so I have no idea what happens during them.
Viticus. Harold, my greetings. I am Viticus. By sheer coincidence, I became the guardian of this hub and am obliged to help you. The fate of the universe hangs in the balance. <clears throat> I apologize. Where are my manners? You probably want to have a look around and get acclimated first. I have waited a very long time for this meeting and can wait a while longer. Come find me when you are ready to discuss business. Okay. Dimension up here, like the one I used to get here, but this one's a lot bigger. This creature's flesh blends with the stones around the pier. It seems alive, but unconscious. Unconscious. This is the training room. This device resembles a locked door. Yes, it is actually a locked door. Very astute. Uh, the device in the center of this table shows the current state of the planes of reality. Did you get a good look around? Yeah. What happened? Akraban once stood in this very spot. Well, more precisely, the cosmically massive core of creation stood on this spot, and the six districts of Akraban surrounded it. When you were on your way to the Council of Heralds, there were a few who knew of this, but it seems one of them did not want you to make it there. There was a coup in Akraban, and someone used Marduk's personal weapon, not hinting at anything. Mark's personal weapon to sever your thread from the core of creation, plunging the void dimension into the abyss and spilling its essence into the center of creation directly into Archibon. Only it just so happened that your core is here and the core of creation fell into the abyss along with your dimension. And Archibon fell too, of course, and everything else. Everything is sliding into the abyss through the hub Dharma created, slowly, gradually, like through the eye of a needle. What happens to the other worlds and dimensions? Quirk creation is falling into the abyss and dragging every layer of the universe along with it. We can't stop it, the core is already past the event horizon, but we can temporarily raise it from the abyss and gather mass from a few divine cores. This should be enough for us to create a new reality. Uh, yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Go to the central pier. The keeper has everything ready. The pier will take you to the Q dimension. Well, what is left of it after its time in the abyss? It's a world of arid deserts, hot during the day and cold at night. Do not expect a warm welcome from the inhabitants. They know about as much about heralds as they do about waterfalls. Go on. You must activate all seven gravitational piers in the Q dimension, which will transfer some mass to the hub and unlock a pathway to the Divine Palace. Then you will just have to convince the Dimensions God to bequeath all his mass to the hub core. That is all. Ah, yes, I just just have to convince the God to give all of his mass to the core. Okay, so uh, one of the two original gods, the one that now calls himself Motor, he used to go by a different name. I heard legends from the ancient essences that long, long ago he was the god of thunder or lightning until he met Kshatra. Kish who taught him to play Aegon. That is all I currently know about him. Kshatra? Kshatra. Okay. You. You are not prepared. It was incredibly difficult for me to raise your core from the abyss. It seems she's speaking in a dream. Viticus, that lazy blabbermouth, didn't explain it to you. This is not Archibald, Herald. Refresh your memory and your skills. You'll need to be prepared for battle. I can do anything. I'm always ready for battle. And I have this little cell phone that gives me information. Access to Info Ocean. Clear, I really don't think this is a good idea. Think about it, you should say no. Admit it, you're jealous. You're not worthy. You regret that you said that. We'll talk once I return in my new form. Let's not put it off any longer. I'm behind your back. Turn around and face your death. End of record. No, I'm not doing anything on purpose. Alpha Pier. Let's go. Let's 
types of death. types of death and I want to remember what this is because I did see this last time I played but I can't remember what it was killing them by decreation have highest drop values of everything except for so it's essence runes notes and consumables laceration which I'm guessing is sharp have increased chance of organ drop standard values for essence rune nodes and consumables Blocks autopsies. Mortification just kind of kills them. Standard drops for essence roots, no consumables, allows you to perform an autopsy. Uh, incineration blocks drop of consumables and possibility of an autopsy, but it has higher than average drop values for essence runes and nodes. The explosion has average chance of organ and essence, low value for runes, notes, and consumables, blocks autopsies. Okay. I was just telling me to go to the camp. Oh, um, it's just energy. Which I'm pretty sure is like my stamina. Or it's these little core things here. the global map. And let's start pathing. The strong experienced warrior seems to be caught off guard when you appear. Oh mother of my boys, I can't tell if you're real or not, what are you? I'm real? Hang on, you're a herald, aren't you? Immortal messenger of the gods, I need your help. Please, whatever god you serve, help me and I will help you with anything you need. You notice this being has a very tangible core. Only a relatively ancient entity can have one like that. Alright, I'll listen to you. Recently, the animals we hunt have become more aggressive. We've spotted red vinegar runes, who are more heavily armored than normal and can spit acid. Some of the red ones are even gigantic. I've never seen anything like them. Perhaps they crawled out from under the ground, awakened by all these vibrations. What, you don't hear them? I can even hear them right now when they drive me mad at night. Figured out where they're coming from. There's a big shiny core in the desert that I've never seen there before. It's giving off powerful vibrations, which I followed to find it. Hunter Mark's core on my map. When I saw the legends about herald messengers of the gods were the first thing that came to mind. How you appear when the world is coming to change or its time has come. Alright, keep telling me about the vinegar and you don't have the right weapons to hunt creatures like these, especially the big ones. And we haven't figured out tactics for fighting them yet, so we always did our best to avoid the red vinegar runes, especially the warriors. That night we decided to ambush one and fight it to see what it could do. My students have been asking me about this for a long time, and I, fool that I am, finally agreed and planned the hunt. Looks like the metastorm is winding down. It's going to get very hot on the surface soon. The wrinkles on our necks and chest will be irritated even at night. I'm wounded. I need healing, ammo, and supplies, but I'm afraid the younglings won't last long. If they're still alive, that is. Can you find the hunters and bring them back? Okay. Mark the places where the hunters might have camped for the night on your communicator in the spot where we were trapped. 
or where we trapped the beast in case you want to finish what I started as you can see I won't be in fighting shape for a while Hunter Kermis is awkwardly pointing to the guts spilling out from the underside of his shirt uh, but I bid you find the young ones first. I don't think they'll last more than a seven day night cycles in this heat with what supplies they have. Speaking of supplies, they probably ran out of them. Here, take some. There should be enough to sustain them once you found them. Okay. Uh, not very long at all. Being in a ragged orange robe, his face completely covered by a metal mask, holding a massive weapon. He disassembles, cleans, and tunes its weapon with precise motions as he notices you. He freezes like a statue, and you can sense his dumbfounded gaze from behind the visors of his mask. Um, I haven't played it for very long, and I can't remember. I think I might have got it on sale for like 12 bucks or something like that. I honest to god can't remember. I got it relatively recently too, I just, I don't have enough brain cells to store information like when I get certain games. Uh, are you alive? The being begins to slap this mask, am I alive? I must not be since I can see you. Uh, Harold, Abyss take me, how is this possible? After taking several deep breaths, the being calms down and more or less comes to his senses. My lord. My name is Angle of the Chinobari tribe. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. He hands me a bundle and stands up. The Lord, my life is in your hands and you can dispose of it in any manner you wish. You can summon me at any time and I'll follow the path you direct me down until my spark fades out. I will await you here until you show me your will and summon me into your service. If I can help with answers, then I await your questions. I am summoning you. Glad you made your decision. Your will shall be done. As tradition dictates, I require your final answer. My lord, I angle sword to serve you to my dying breath and to be an extension of your weapon and your will. But yeah, I do accept your service. Thank you, sir. You should be a very valuable asset. He's not going to help me break the pot still, unfortunately. Traps grenade in your new breastplate. Okay, what does mine do right now? Generates a shield that protects you for one attack. Shield lasts for un unlimited time. And creates a mine that explodes, and then this one is allowed you to dodge all attacks for a short period. And creates a protection sphere that deflects any three attacks. I think I'll take the one attack one for now. Re-attack, attach those. I have no idea. No idea. Is this guy talking about me smashing this shit? I'm unsure. Twitches with fright. I guess I'd be a little bit scared too if someone came in and smashed up all my shit. Is that, is that his opinion of me while I'm smashing up his shit? Is he's just like excited? He's like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. A Harold is smashing my shit. Is there anything else on you? Represent on my map. I mean, it's a blocked exit. Okay. There's the hunters, there's the core. 
There's a mirror. So let's go to the Huntress first. Where they actually hatch. Where the, oh, that's a, a lot of area back there. Is my boy fighting up here? No, oh, that's a boosted enemy. some snakes come out of that hole there. boosted enemies now. Just get him with the mine. See two beings. One takes a step in your direction, covering their partner. Dark scarlet patches on the beings. Red robe shimmer in the sun. Blood. The being looks at you intently and waves his hand in an unusual gesture. Copy the gesture. So you're not an enemy. Thank the gods. Mass makes it hard to tell how the being feels, but he seems glad. Both beings freeze, simultaneously tilting their heads in disbelief, then start examining you closely, occasionally making a strange gestures as they do. The one that is closer to you starts talking as I sound cast. You look like a herald. Do you have a core? Are you one? Yes. Greetings, herald. I am Rune the Nomad, and that there is Zomida. We were wounded out on a hunt, and we are not strong enough to get past those beasts on our own. The hunters have become the prey. Most ironic. Forgive me for asking a one-sided favor of you, but could you help us get out? I'm afraid we won't last much longer. How are you doing for equipment? As you can see, we have almost nothing. Ran out of bullets two days ago. Just a couple shots left. Last time we saw food was a week. Dog tired. Do I have these things? I do. Yeah, I'm gonna help these guys out. This is, this is now my team. I have now have a crack squad. I'm gonna go 
to smash all the shit that they left behind. They're gonna go fight something down there, it's fine. There's, there's three of them, they should be fine, I think. Oh my god, look how much health they're losing. What are they fighting? I mean, yeah, he does decent damage, but Sorgan allows you to see the mental signatures of your allies, which significantly improves your... Okay, that's cool. Smashing up everything. This is gonna crack an actual way. You guys just gonna stand there? Or are you gonna shoot him? one of these. Okay, so Q is my bombs and traps. R is the healing one. Where did this hell think you're holding it at the camp on our own? A lot of stock and get D to always be welcome among us. We already know where to find our camp, and we'll always be glad to see you. All of Mad Sensei will know of you soon enough. Thank you, Nomads. I appreciate it. I, I will be good guy. You know, I'll save the Nomads and do the good guy things, you know. And go to the Vinegaroon lair. We'll fight some vinegaroons. Vinegar goons. Alright. Let's go fight some vinegaroons. Which I really like to the scorpions, I think.
Does it still say Katamari? Because Katamari wouldn't launch, and I thought I updated the thing to show one dungeon. Okay. Well, let me fix that really quickly. Because it's supposed to show on dungeon. Okay, does it now show on dungeon? Okay. Oh, okay, so just an update last time. Okay. Funny that they're called vinegar runes, but they don't have whip tails. They're just like acid spitting scorpions. Unless I'm just wrong about what a vinegar rune is, which I might be, but like. see two beings. The one closer to you seems to have been in a fight. The red robe is scorched in several places, and their body is covered in bleeding wounds. The being gestures at you, then watches you attentively, as though expecting you to attack. Copy it. Well met, wonder. It's rare to come across a friend in the wastelands. The being studies you intently from head to toe as if seeing you for the first time. They point to the different parts of your body in disbelief. When they get to the core, both beings let their hands drop and fall silent. The god sent us a herald. How amazing. Praise the gods, I am Colrin the Nomad, Huntress in training. I know the traditions, I am told me everything. Please accept this hum humble gift, Herald. Hands you a small bundle and bows deeply. Ah, thank ya. Some Pandora fruits. Herald, me and Oren got stuck here and can't make it past the bread vinegar rooms. Our supplies and ammo are almost gone. Think you might be able to help us out. I will, I will give them some stuff because I collected some stuff. I'll show them the way out, because I'm nice like that. First, I'm going to smash up all their shit, though, because I'm also not nice like that. And it all looks like loot to me, you know? Just fine. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I have no reason to not have my single hit shield up, but I keep forgetting to have it up. It's boosted. and girls this way please
I'm still back here. Oops, I didn't mean it. Oh, okay, awesome. I was able to pick it back up. It's just more loot, it's fine. Your gratitude is enough, kindness will not be forgotten. I know I will always welcome you with open arms. You'll find items camp here, the nomad points to a spot on the map. All of Mad Zenta will know of you soon enough. Cool, thanks. and forward. Okay. I'm going to go here next. See all the core. And go activate that. flies away. Cool. Get your cure for spear. Cost your life strength. You need to find a core. Connect to the hub. Core should be somewhere nearby. Help you raise your a strange refraction. Try to find out what it is. It's the mirror. This is what we're looking for. The course of a built-in homing algorithm just activated and teleported the shift caused the threads holding the cores inside the gravity wells to break. The energy release was supposed to launch the cores into the heavenly void, but the world's cosmosphere held fast. Apparently the core reflected off the cosmosphere and fell back into the world. It means the other six canes have gone far and must be somewhere else in these wastelands. This is a very useful item, don't forget to bring it back to the level needed here. Young and Sumeria saved them, thank you, Harold. Okay, I've already saved the second group. Okay. Here except a couple cacti to smash, I think. I don't even think the cacti drop much just usually. They drop like plant seeds and water skins, I think. I honestly can't remember. <clears throat> world karma plus four. I have positive world karma. Cool. No idea what that does, but I'm a good guy, I guess. I hope it's not like a decision of like, have fun or be good, you know? Cause like, I, I like a little bit of chaos in my games. I feel like, like every good playthrough should have some, some chaos, you know? I don't wanna talk to you about your people. Saved all your hunters. Did a good job indeed. They're all here, not unharmed, but still alive, which is more than I could have hoped for. I mean, you're dead. Thank you. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, what do you what do you have to sell? Reaper claws. What do I have right now? Those are not what I have equipped. So this guy does have some, some cool equipment.
like your style. Good. New info obtained on Reaper Claws. New data on torture. Use the battle claws. And these are the Reaper claws. Oh, I put my fingers in the wrong case. That's very unfortunate. Chief Hunter's name. He was just some. He was just speaking out his ass, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Let's go check out that mirror, and then we'll go activate the other thing. A large finger hangs in the air, its body a tangle of old fabric and withered flesh. The being wears a small porcelain mask, but there doesn't appear to be a face hidden behind it. Each beast sounds like a choir of frail voices, occasionally out of rhythm. One voice, hoarse and malicious, stands out from the choir. I have been waiting for you, immortal. Who are you? My name is Clivy. Once a very long time ago, my brothers, the Ergos, planned to capture Archibon. Now I am a mere ghost of the past, a crooked malformed reflection of a former reality. What do you want from me, Glibby? I'm here to reach you to touch the currents of future history, maybe catch a glimpse of the new reality. Maybe I can find a place there. Can you be of any use? Finger motions with its appendages as if taking your measurements. You'll find this black mirror useful, Harold. These devices let us buy a little time for our poor tortured reality. These mirrors make the world around them a little more stable. Six centuries to revitalize a herald. The timeline was not broken. If one of them died, it just changed shape slightly so that a herald could rise again. Now, when your shell dies, time itself will rewind to bring you back to life. You might say all of reality depends on you. Watch with bated breath as your core moves through these desolate lands. Experiencing your rebirth is painful for mortal beings like me. We remember all the timelines we've been in and living the same thing over and over again. It's not pleasant. Someone had the health of your mission in mind when they put these mirrors throughout the wasteland. They work like peers. You cannot travel through mirrors yet, but if you die after you visit a mirror, you will be reborn there just like you would at a dimensional pier. Do you have any questions? What should I know about the mirrors? It's a reflection of reality, a space-time whirlpool before the shift. Mirror worlds existed only for an instant, and only a few could be stabilized using technology. Now, they are almost as sturdy as the reality that generates them. Getting into the mirror worlds used to require special techniques and technology after the shift, reality became thinner, and even in this desert you'll find faults that lead to parallel mirror dimensions. Is that all? Not everyone's destined for such great things as you, Harold. There are queens, but there are also pawns. Who made the mirrors? Not me, but someone who also cares about the fate of the mirror dimensions. Gods of the large dimensions who build Archibon have always thought of the mirror worlds as unimportant, not real and not worth their intention. Okay. 
Okay, bye. And that's that's that, I guess. Now I go to the Alpha Pier. active now just six more periods since we can activate so we can redirect the switch mass to the hub of course we'll have to do something about the motor before that happens about motor not the motor i'll send you the coordinates of the next period you'll have to unseal it first i don't have access the world matrix has strained a little you can now travel deeper into the world but you should return to the hub before you continue your journey we have much to discuss hmm. okay i guess i'll do that then Viticus did a good job, but I don't like the condition your core is in. It's functioning erratically. No core programming expert, but can't string two cores together. But fortunately, there is someone in the hub who knows everything there is to know about them. He could be quite useful. Uh, Mutilla, who goes by Skinflints. I'm not sure how he did it, but he managed to save his own hide when Archibald fell, and he made it into the hub recently. What is a Mutilla? One of the first beings. It's said that their civilizations began construction on Archibald around the core creation. Do not know where they all went after that, but in my time there were very few of them left, and after the shift there is one or sorry, this one is perhaps the last of his kind. He meant to end up on the central part, but instead got stuck on one of the islands of primordial matter hovering around. He uses to connect this island with ours. He's not pleasant to be around, but you need to learn as much as you can about your core before we can start saving reality. Draws a block of primordial matter from subspace and pushes it in your direction. Thanks, buddy. This is a mutual. Okay, interesting. Kind of reminds me of that Cabrillo guy. Being a spherical body is covered in such ancient materials that you can sense relics of his primordial mind and his vibrations. Hmm, so all this time, Vitigus had the primordial matter to get here? I see. The being pulls out a long ancient scroll and scrolls ominously on it, pronouncing his syllables or it's Vidicus. He then stares intently into you and shivers in disgust. Your core couldn't withstand the overload and cracked. It looks horrible. Tell me about cores. Where should I start? There are many different cores, but they all share the same principle. World cores returns with the laws of creation to the worlds. Cores of immortals do the same thing, but on a smaller scale. They retransmit the laws of the inner world to the collective reality inside the being shell and beyond its bounds. Core shape essence. They maintain the consistency of the worlds and the shells of immortal beings. If an immortal's material shell is destroyed, their core can restore their physical form by moving to another timeline. Uh, just as a pearl is formed from a grain of sand, sparks from the mortal spirits form the cores of immortals. They coalesce around the source of observation over time. Once a core forms, can be worked on and upgraded. Remote world cores. They come to be in a similar way, but they have one unified source. The information transmitted from the core of creation over the dimensional threads itself contain the laws that form the first, the world cores, and then the worlds themselves from the primordial mass. Okay, what happens without it? The hub core is still linked to the core of creation and can retransmit its laws, but as the core of creation sinks into the abyss, the frequency and integrity of the retransmitted information decreases. Worlds collapse into themselves, their stars explode or fade away slowly. This reality is coming to an end. Uh, nothing can be done to fix this. It seems the current reality is doomed. All we can do is create a new one with a new core of creation. I hope we have enough knowledge and enough mass remaining above the event horizon to do it. If I hadn't been stuck here alone 
all alone this time alone all this time, I might have been able to tell you more about the keeper's plans. Ask the ugly eyeball, he should know. Can you fix my core? No. Such damage is beyond repair, but we can replace it. The core is not a spirit, it's just a receiver and amplifier of information. Try this core out, it hasn't been expanded yet, but it's still better than the one you have now. It will tell you what to do with it. Thank you. Uh, when you replace your core, you can weave nodes into it. The core itself contains only the most basic methods of interacting with reality, but nodes can transform the core's power into a variety of effects that can be very useful. I happen to have a few combat nodes that you may enjoy. Take them. Cool, cool. Uh, why do they call you Skinflint? Because I don't share my knowledge or wares with just anyone. Back in Archibon, immortals would line up in front of my workshop demanding my service. This annoyed a lot of them. Viticus concluded, but I don't mind. It's even easier to do business this way. Well, thank you. Okay, press 2 to swap out the damaged core. Bam, I've got a shiny new core. Plus two to absorption. Okay, and I can only have one equipped there. I have a def Uh, I unlocked a gloom and a luck, but I don't have any cores for that. Okay. much better. Now your inner self doesn't disgust me. Damn. That's... That is a golden line. That's much better. Now your inner self doesn't disgust me. As time goes on, you'll definitely want specific core to your preferences, to new devices on these spirit sparks, the seeds of future cores. They're rare material. When a mortal being dies, a spirit spark can manifest in the material world. There are many spirit sparks left from the war against the destroyers. If you're lucky, you'll find lots of them in the dimensions you visit. Mortals don't particularly need them, they see them as artifacts. Strength core and flaming core. Interesting, interesting, okay. Neither of those things are what I need right now, I think. It's in the box. Jar of essence. Is essence what I level up with? Is that what this... That is exactly what it is. Excellent. Since plus 10 to minimum damage, so I'll use that one. I have a bunch of these things. For now, I actually think I'm going to make this core really good. Increases knife damage and min damage. Okay. Oh, your core is shining like it's brand new. Skin flint may be unpleasant, but you cannot deny he has talent. Now you can continue saving the world or lead it to destruction. Ha ha ha. 
Oh wait, so wait, I'm being a good guy and trying to save the world, but like, in the end, there's nothing I can do to save the world that's gonna be destroyed anyway. So like, do I, am I gonna be able to like, all these people that I'm helping, am I gonna be able to like, I don't know, like send them into the new reality that I'm creating? What is the situation here? So let's head straight to the beta pier. Oh, there's a trader's camp here. I'm gonna go visit the trader's camp. Hey Harold, Amadon said you'd come. I am Demkar. I'm a member of the Trade Guild. We deal in technology, medicine, and software. No, we divided the market and we're not our own specialty. I trade in consumables, so if you need medical attention to blow something up or slice someone up, I'm your guy. Show me your goods. There's actually a lot of shit. So what is the range on these things? Are they all the same range? They all have different damages, chance of bleeding. Some have different ranges. And so it's interesting, it's interesting. I have met some flash grenades. I don't think I need offensive grenades right now. 75% markup, it's, it's rude. Can I talk to your animal thing here? No. Okay, fine. We are leaving. I can't remember what my little guy's name is. It's like Uncle or something like that. I honest to God don't remember. See if anything's changed there. I'm just gonna go straight to the beta pier. There's those bird things again. Oh, it's Timcar again. It doesn't look like he has anything different here. It looks like the same stuff he had at the other place. Okay. This guy must be who's being referred to. Oh no, this is Almadon. Being's core is tangible, almost like core of a herald. The being doesn't seem old, but it have any antiquity. One of the being's hands holds an elongated chalice. Thick steam from aromatic oil swirls inside the chalice, and the being inhales it deeply, then looks at you without exhaling. Who are you? Ahem. You, you are the Herald of the Void, aren't you? Yes. Never dared hope to meet a Herald again in my lifetime. I thought that he didn't hurt for playing tricks on my old mind. My name is Almadon, son of Almadon, the oldest Kalari who ever lived. May his soul find its path to the Creator. He perished along with Archibald. Almadon? Almadon? Like hound? All mad hound. All mad hen. I don't know. All mad hound. A madam. My father served the heralds in Archibon. He created this red step on the palace of Kash Kshatra. I love that word. It's back again, Kshatra. In the first worlds of Ore. Sadly, the shift destroyed everything and all our hard work fell into the abyss. I know what you're up to, Harold. You want to 
take the mass of this and other dimensions to create a new reality around the hub core. I knew this would happen. I hope to stay with the and prepared to help you. How can you use In the Keeper, it's gifted to Shias, can't provide you with all the sutras. You need to save the mortal soul, and not all the primordial matter can be checked by a scanner. I've worked hard to build trade guilds in a world like this. It's not exclusively the Nomad's Guild, it includes other races you have met as well. I was one of the founders. Procure sutras and primordial matter left from the time of Archibald for the Heralds and the essence of sustainers looking by the wares we're interested in from the resellers. Herders don't do anything for free. Neither do you, what do you want to return? What do I want? What can someone who has everything he needs in his dying reality want in return? I just want to make it into the new reality. I can teach and trade with those that will inhabit it. I will exchange any artifacts you'll find without surcharges, but you'll still need the rivers of essence to obtain them. Even the nomad readers understand the value of sutras or shards of creation, and I will demand you pay full price for them. I have a deal, I have some questions. What do you know about the shift? Dimensions were once hollow spheres. On the inner surface of their world matrices were powered piers that connected many planets all across the universe. The core of creation provided the gods who settled the dimensions with the mass to create new worlds and the energy and knowledge to grow and create these lands. But the core was brutally thrown out of balance and it collapsed into its own center, forming an abyss under it. The shift is pulling the shards of the world deeper and deeper, warping their laws into stagnation. And we don't know who unbalanced the core. The shift was warped. The laws of reality has torn the planets apart, causing them to slowly decompose along with the laws of the universe, and the dimensional matrices are falling into the abyss from the mass of the gods inhabiting them, with only the sutra leading from the core of creation to the hub's core binding them to reality. This is the thread the keeper is pulling. Tell me about your people. Kalahari legends say that ancient alchemists created us by order of the creator. The creator made the Kalahari alongside the core creation so we could form threads that connect the cores. Got it. I'm joking, Harold. I thought you weren't serious. Yes, Kalahari have a spinning gland, but the threads are woven in our minds and the matter is just a reflection of this vision. Tell me about your trade guild. When the cataclysm happened, I fell into a dormant state that lasted thousands of years, saw the outlines of the future, and I learned that the Herald would come. When I awakened, I found myself among the same sands that had previously surrounded me. I decided to take action, so I found designs and started producing subtech equipment, and then launched trade networks across the wastelands. I didn't influence local politics, but gave the technology to traders I believed were worthy of it. And now that I've started to forget the reason I did all that, you have arrived here. Now I'm waiting to see the new reality be created. I want to see what you can do. Can I join the guild? You don't need to join the trade guild. Its existence is centered around you, Harold. Now that you have awakened, the guild will fulfill its purpose, and you will gain access to the best wares in all the living worlds. Can you get Architect? Absolutely everyone who ever worked with Architect lived in Archibon. Of course, our architect, but as you can see, there are a few experts on the around here. I did hear that one box was managed to survive. I'll make inquiries. Thank you. Okay, so Almadwan, Almadhan, Almadon was not the farmer. This means there's another person somewhere around here who is of a more farming persuasion. More agricultural persuasion, so to speak. Uh, unless I'm supposed to leave. Ah, yeah, I'm supposed to leave. I apparently wasn't paying attention. <laughs> time to go on an adventure. It's time to go on an adventure. Long walk. Almost two full days. Da -da 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 -dum.
As he approaches, Ping hunches his shoulders and freezes as though he thinks I would hide him from you. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just leave since there's no one here. I'm just gonna smash all this shit up first. Apparently he's really excited by me smashing his shit up. Okay, how, how, how can I help you to travel here? I'm just a simple farmer and I cannot imagine what brought you to my dead doorstep. Show me your wares. Why do you have grenades, dude? Actually, I guess everyone kind of needs them in this day and age. Okay, never mind. From a dash and the direction of movement after the dash it increases movement speed. Makes you invisible, grants a speed boost. From a controllable dash, it leaves a chain of minds behind. Both of those are medium distance. Am I a joke to you? You know, I, I kind of want to murder this guy. You know, you know what I you know what I mean? I just I just want to just, just brutally murder this guy cuz he's a dick. You can take the clothes off. I would do is 10, it's 10 essence. God. You make me pay every lie. Look, I'll even look, I'm tipping you too. You were so generous. But like when it was like okay, when I turn into 12 yeah, it still says that. I would have to do something like to remove this to create. I cannot accept that offer. And then I just add it back, and you're so generous. Okay. It's my new mask. Oh yeah, I was supposed to ask him where the core was. No, I haven't seen any good golden spheres around here, just rocks and sands and little dog shit. Not even enough to fertilize a garden. Oh, excuse me. I don't think anything gold would last even a minute land around here. It's the kind of place where they'd steal the chamber pot out from under you so fast you wouldn't even notice. Nothing but bandits and thieves, practically no honest nomads left. Well, wait, Trevor, let me treat you to a sweet tuber and tell you my story. Please do me the honor of being my guest. Okay. I am Fade, a farmer from the Mad Sense tribe, but this wasn't always the case. I used to wander the wastelands with my clan and we saw many things. In sandstorm season, we would set up camp between the cliffs and in times of drought, we would lay low in vinegar and pits or track wild goobers, goobers to the edge of the world matrix. Go on. Survived many attacks by both bandits and wild beasts, and lost experienced people each time. Soon our group was unable to provide ourselves with food and water, and we went our separate ways. I decided to work the land. I don't consider it my calling, but it's better than risking my life on a hunt or collecting plant pulp under the beating ultraviolet rays for dry bread and a little water. It's no longer safe in other parts. Red vinegar was invaded, and there was a pandemic at the end of the world matrix, so I was forced to settle in these barren lands. But why do I even bother? You need a modern shovel to till this soil. Bah. I have no idea what an Amadan a maiden. A madden? Is this the part where you ask me to get you one of those shovels? What? No, I'm just joking. Hehehe. <laughs> so it's bad, but not that bad. I need special fertilizer to make the soil fertile. I have a good friend and farmer who lives right here. You promised to lend me some. I don't have a communication device and I've had no news of him for a long time. Now it's dangerous for a weakling like me to travel such a long distance, but you look very strong. If you find yourself in those parts, could you pay my friend a visit and remind him that he promised me fertilizer? I guess so. Thank you so much. If he's not around, you can just take the fertilizer. It's in his backyard, the yellow containers. He'll think it was me who came by. This guy just told me to steal some shit from his buddy's house if he's not home. Like, I, I fucking will, but like... I don't know, I feel like that's, that's morally bad. Why is it called Worm Gorge? stuff there. Woo. Oh, beta cores right there. Neat.
I think it's okay to do to activate the moon. I just go walk in front of it. Oh, I've been locked in. Oh, that third attack does do a lot of damage. Change that to Nox. Oh wait, I actually have to click R each time. There we go. Okay. to go up now. There's probably gonna be more things up here. Yeah, I see one down there. He just shot me twice. He just shot me twice. What a guy. Oh wait, it's two different ones. I just took some near lethal damage. Damn. Whew. These guys, some of these guys are a little strong. The body of the being in front of you is torn between several realities, but the being shows no emotion as if nothing is happening. I'm delighted to s oh, seeing you who was once a nomad seems to come to his senses. You can sense its mind getting stronger and stronger until it exceeds all reasonable limits. A ripple passes through the being's body and then it addresses you. I'm delighted to see you here. It's such a long wait. Too long. And so would you be so kind as to answer one single question? I deserve it at the very least. That's just wonderful. Let's get to it. Imagine you are walking across the desert and encounter a nomad. His cape's an unusual color, one you've never seen before. Standing around, the unlucky nomad is soaked in blood, and as far as you can tell, the nomad is screaming, calling out for help. Looking closer, you notice the metallic scene of a trap that has sunk into his flesh. He doesn't have long to live. He's dehydrated, never mind the wound and blood loss. Seems he hasn't noticed you yet. I'd try to help him. I'm being a good guy. Well, let's move to the physical challenge. Oh, what? Fight. Okay. So I guess I'll just murder him. I think he just like died from bleeding or something like that.
go up here and then I will head back down that way. Small layer, I guess, on the way. And then after I hit the small uh small layer, I guess I can go back to Vader or whatever the name was. Once I'm able to craft things, I'll probably be able to craft something to help with that. They'll offer point two to armor pierce. Okay, I'll use this one. Drag it on over. So I'm taking a thought. That's what it is. I have a full inventory. Interfere with a square hunger and skin the meat. Fire we would need it. The meat soaked in the substance that makes you ravenous even if you just ate. To put it simply, this meat is why the animals in this area are so aggressive. Now I have a new quest to go talk to Ian about the unusual meat. your legs so I need to get make a thing called a biomat I get a thing called a biomat oh I forgot I could do that leave mines. That's, that's neat. Gotta remember that.
guess that's what was left of Fade's friends. Sorry about your luck, friends. Data. Someone shady came over, but I think it's following me. Looked all over for him, asking me about fertilizer. Go to the other meat stranger, just pick up product. Keep watching over the warehouse in case he comes back. Stranger says he'll be camped out in four more days. So I had to go to that meeting. Gotta clear up these vicious animals first. Okay, so change of plans. I gotta go to wherever that battle thing is. Or battle the meeting thing. I only have four days to make it. Three days now. Two days remaining. Cutting it close, cutting it close. It's fine. Let's uh, see what's going on here. Let's actually just upgrade this first really quickly. I still don't have anything other than the one. Okay. Oh, I can do it again. Just making some plans, just making some plans, I'm just making some plans. Oh no, 
Oh, something equipment can break at any time. Oh no. Yay, some new Reaper Claws. is so dry. I think I gotta go to drink. I'm just sitting here choking on air. Oh, inhalers, yes, I need one of those. Mescaline Viper Report, uh, Viper Reporting Red Farmers and they sell product, we contact the reader again if you trial and like feed enlarge. Zooming around. 
Oh, they're chasing me. They hunted me down. Bunch of little hunters. small layers but I can check them out after if I need to. Okay, now I'm just gonna respond to a message. Tell me more. There's nothing to me. I'll have a use for this. Uh, there's nothing hard. Should we start the stomach? Let's see. Let's see. Tip on that, I can just pop on by to the. Oh, wait, Beta Pier is all the way down there. Oh, oh well. I'm being a good guy. And good guys go out of their way to go drop off fertilizer and let someone know that their friend died. I'm just that kind of good guy, you know? Bunch of friends. I was supposed to talk to what's his face about the fucking. Whatever, I'll go to Beta Pier. And maybe on my way, I'll fucking stop there. What's that? What is that? Are those like traitors or something? Let's go. We're gonna join this fight. Yeah. We're gonna help these people. Because we're good guys. Oh, 
Oh god, look at them all. Jesus Christ. So can I like, talk to these people now or something? Or like I said, I said it. I guess I just helped them out now they're good. Yeah, I guess they're just randomly roaming and I can save their lives if I want to, I guess. This is about all I could... The only explanation I could come up with for what their purpose is. I just walked back out in the global. Oopsie. Viticus. Madame came to visit the hub, made himself at home without even asking, stinking up the place with a smoke. I reminded him that space is at a premium and we need every available inch to save the mortals. His only response was to throw this at me. Judging by the tension readings on the world matrix, pier is active. How wonderful. There are a few things you need to do here in the hub before you head to the next pier. The island where you saw the mula is not the only of one of its kind. Dharma created these islands along with the hub, but apparently you do not have enough matter to link them all. Primordial matter from Maldemon can be used to connect another island. One of the islands you'll find in each machine. A biomap has to remember one here. Arkbon. Ah, biomat. I'm not even going to talk to him. I just want biomat because that lets me craft things. And I want to craft. So let me craft. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hello, my name is Gilly Mancy. So I don't know, but I know a lot about you. Like what? I know your creator, serve the gods as their agent in the mirror dimensions and help them connect with the void dimensions. I'll tell you about another time. Narcabon fell, I along with the other immortals aimed to persevere the architect devices constructed by the gods. Spy mat is one such device and help you learn its functions and save myself and other immortals from unnecessary torments. When you die Okay. All matter can be turned into essence, blah blah blah. Mortals don't need to worry about stealing the harmful vibrations within themselves. They call them toxins, especially when other bodies remove these toxins from their shells. Biomat can create individually designed organs for an immortal based on its shell and core. There's a chest next to the machine where you'll find new components. No bots. If shell can no longer withstand damage, the implanted organ will be destroyed first. This will save your life and give you a chance to win the battle, allowing you to take another hit. Okay. I am going to make myself a new brain. Let's go. And I 
I guess a new heart as well. That's like a decent structure or something. Dismantle the rope. Cool, cool. Seems something with the news changed. Let me guess, new stomach. No, it's not it. Everybody, do you know? I just don't know where it is. It's a big one, too, and if you tall, can you imagine that? Let me vaguely remember those times. I think it feels different when you're on your own rather than in the body. There's something of a sense of control in that. Yes, the body serves many other nervous systems as well, but you can go wherever you feel like going, or go nowhere if that's what you want, like captain of a giant walking ship. Do you know that for... ...ocalopsies, like me, the eyes are the last thing to take shape? Bodies grow without eyes, and essentially without brains. Though how would you know, since I am apparently the last remaining member of my race. Well, poor Viticus. simple heart. Well, now I have a backup in case I break that one. chance to agree. Okay, I'll go to the beta up here because I wanted to go talk to Ian 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 Some shit like that. I can't remember. Ian Ferments vinegar remains in the globe, but it's frequently used as an animal feeder bait. It's shocked to break the breeder. He lives nearby and makes a living breeding. Okay. Thank you, sir.
Trader, cool. Just make a quick stop of this mirror. Cause you never know what you're gonna run into. That nomad, his body is entirely covered by a robe that barely closes over his massive belly. The robe is clearly faded from the sun and worn out from years of wear. It was once a deep brown, now resembles a pile of dirty sand. The being's face is covered by a mask and two hoses run from the mask to a backpack made from vinegar and eggs on his back. Nomad doesn't seem at all surprised by appearance. His mood just scratches his belly and stares at you boldly. For a short time, he seems to finish his musing and speaks to you. Hi there, aren't you an ugly one? Ha! You know, beauty yourself. Haha, uh, you're right, but there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't bother me. You shouldn't be ashamed of it either. Just don't worry, everything will be fine. Greet, greet, you friend. Welcome to my farm. I raise goobers, desert hens, and most importantly, vinegar. And there's no one else has animals like mine. How stupid trading it's just to get by. Hey, don't call them that. Smarter than love, Greek should know. A few questions. Can you tell me about this meat? Short Nomad bought bait like this for me. Something about this meat makes hounds mad with hunger when it's fermented. Bandits use it to attract desert hounds to trading posts before they raid them, which is why I don't sell this meat to strangers, but that Nomad was so desperate I made an exception. Don't be silly, we call them vinegarins, but you've heard that name from hunters. Vinegarins are the most common animal around here. Thick carapace, coarse blood, can't eat them without trading the meat. Useful materials. I was willing to trade for some plant pulp. Yeah, really aggressive if the UDK. Okay, so that's what those glowing eggs are called. Armor piercing weapons. This guy knows a lot about those fucking vinegarins. Show me your wares. His breastplates. Shield generator. Interesting. Uh, fuck yeah, I want to summon allies. Collect eggs, got too carried away from myself in a ravine. Heavily armed, all I have is my little knife. I managed to knock one down, so I just gonna throw my knife another one. Just broke glass, started shooting right as fast as I could. I'm gonna say it's my friend, she's vinegar and she's smart as can be and helps me with my work. Okay. I almost forgot. Definitely this feet of Teresa she knows your friends. Okay. Let's talk later. Find a dimension. 
dimensional rift. I don't know what a beacon is, but I can go do that too after. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, don't use anything for you. Ah, uh, subject doesn't last long. Make a break. Beat is powered up. Yep. No matter who needs help. And no matter who needs help, to the beacon. Too bad I'm already helping a different nomad. Renegade camp. Ooh. That gets me bronze coins. Static keys here or something. I wonder if those little symbols show me what's there, or, like what I can get or what I need in that area. Um, I know not. legs. That was a lot of damage. Crafted swamp.
think those are luck things. Just good because I think I have a luck slot unlocked. Goron Frog. John. Stop right there if you take one more step, won't be responsible for what happens, guys. I got it, don't shoot. So it's a pleasure doing business with some intelligence. Perhaps we can reach an agreement. My name is John, and that's Igor and Abdul. Our hazmats doing research, producing a rift. I'm a herald traveler. I've never heard of a herald. It's their job. Actually, don't answer that. I'm not interested. But if we have a question for us, go ahead. I need the vinegar in. What did, you, what did I say, guys? I hit the jackpot, and you want to leave it all. I can give it to you, but not free, of course. I'm going to scan the creature already, and it does have some value. I don't even know what to offer you. Sure, fine. Oh, I really hope those are the fucking almost broken ones. You didn't take the ones off of my fucking hands. You better not have. That was a cool area. Dimension of Earth is like a completely different biome instead of the desert. teleport back in there for a second because there's someone called Akari the Hazmat and I didn't see Akari the Hazmat I think there 
should be... Hazmat that can talk to you. Is keeping her for myself an option? I'm guessing you're the gilly, the guy that I just said no to. He said he wouldn't hurt her, so worst case scenario, I do that. And I find out a freak's really willing to part with her. or something? Oh wait, hold on. I have a purple, but do I... I just don't have any purples. Yeah, I don't have anywhere to equip that here. Interesting, I wonder what these mega things do. Okay, I've decided that I'm starving. So, what I am going to do 
is the epitome of laziness. I am just going to order some food. Because this is what you do when you're as lazy as me. If there's anything open, actually. Because I didn't even think of that, but... Oh, shit. Is there... No, there's, there's food open, thank goodness.
Okay, so I gave him back, but see. Even though the game told me this was an important decision, and he was probably the worst person I could have given it to, that's what I've done. Who knows, maybe he was actually the best person I could have given it to. Or what are they? I'll track this quest, because I believe that one's close to me. What's up here? This guy wants me to just go into another dimension and kill someone. I bet. That is what we are doing today, is jumping into another dimension and killing someone. says I have less than an hour left before my food arrives so I will play until then latest delivery is more than an hour away because I live in the fucking boonies This is where Motor, or whatever his name is, is going to be right in the center because he's, he's going to be the final boss of this area. See where this one takes me. Flooded ruins. So I wonder if there's gonna be like another world, or if this is the only world here. Search the area for traces of the target.
Maybe I am a bad guy. As soon as I was given the chance to take a hitman contract. Did my huntsman die? He must have, I haven't seen him in a while. It's kind of sad. Hiccups. It's just immunity from corrosion, it's not actually healing. I am an idiot.
It's a good thing I have a backup heart. Oh, I can't change it right now. It's been 10 days since your last save. Find a mirror, return to the hub. That's actually probably a good idea. Oh, my food is on the way. My food is on the way. No, I have to go to a different mirror. Okay. Game appears like one of my next destinations. I'm being chased. It's okay, I'm just gonna enter this place. It's fine.
Time to fight! It makes a lot of sense for the, the caster weapon to have a repulsor as its, uh, as its ability.
13 minutes till my food is here. I think I might take off before my food is here. Oh, look, they're fighting. That's cool. I didn't realize they do that. skip all that dialogue because it just all I can think about is my food that's only 10 minutes away and I just want it now oh. <sighs> fuck I'm gonna head over to Fade. And then, once I'm done with Fade, I am going to go get my food. Oh, I'm going to go wait for it, at least. Nine minutes.
Okay, that's right. I'm gonna call it here. Because I am starving and honestly I might jump back on afterwards, but like I also might not just because I have work today at ten o'clock. So I'm most likely gonna be up at six o'clock or six thirty, which is six hours from now. Yeah, I think it's just worth it to call it a night and probably continue this. <sighs> Tomorrow after work or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching if you didn't have a great night.